The show starts in five minutes. From Gilbert Autorama comes the excitement and competition of the famous Indianapolis Speedway, featuring the exclusive new Gilbert flyover chicane. Watch the stock cars in slow motion. Up and go. Gilbert makes cars rugged enough to take this kind of punishment. And look at the great assortment of Gilbert cars to choose from. The roughest, toughest, most realistic cars on the road. Past the timer, through the lap counter. Now with stock cars up to the Gilbert flyover chicane. Only this time in midair, the cars change lanes. And look, just like that, your Gilbert car track can become a horse race track with these exclusive lively trotters. Get all these Indianapolis Speedway extras separately and be sure to get your complete Gilbert mm -hmm. Autorama layout. Look at Gilbert toys first. They last. The show starts in four minutes. Wonderful anniversary, dear, and thank you for the flowers. You're welcome, darling. But if you could do one thing for me. What? Try to do something about your coffee. I hoped it would be better today. Tastes good as fresh perked, because it is. Just three minutes away from the start of our next feature. Still time to visit our refreshment stand. Folks, and a hearty welcome to our drive-in theater. We have a wonderful evening's entertainment lined up for you, one that will provide several hours of pleasurable relaxation and diversion for you and your family. Did you fail to dress up for tonight's show? No tie, an old shirt and slacks, a house dress? Well, don't give it a thought. We're glad you came as you are. We just want you to enjoy yourselves. Don't forget to visit our refreshment center during the intermission or any time. You love the tasty array of snacks we have to offer. So will the youngsters. Everything is quality and mm -hmm, so good. We hope you'll make this a weekly visit. Bring the family. Bring your friends. There are always wonderful new pictures to see, delightful snacks to nibble, a gay, pleasant evening for all. Oh, a word of caution. Don't drive over 10 miles an hour in the theater area for your safety's sake. And mom or pop, go with the kids when they leave the car. We hope you have a wonderful time. Come back soon. Here's the thing. Hair that grows, hair that goes to here, to there, to anywhere you like. Be it good. Here's new velvet. Her hair grows, just like her cousin, beautiful Chrissy. You can make Velvet's hair short, or make it grow. Hair that grows, hair that goes to here, to there, it Schmidt's Blue Ribbon Bread gives you seven ounces of non-fat milk solids in every loaf. The equal of 90 quarts a year if you serve it regularly. Every sandwich you make, every snack, gives you extra milk. For wonderful flavor combined with sound food values, serve Schmidt's Blue Ribbon Bread in the pantry pack.
now, ladies and gentlemen, time for the show. Once again, thank you for coming to our theater tonight. Have an enjoyable evening. The refreshment stand will remain open for a short time. Still plenty of time to get a snack or cold drink. We'll make an announcement before the stand closes to give you plenty of time to get that last minute treat. Hello? Hello, everybody. Hi, hi, hello. Mm, what a hamburger. Who's ready for some raw danger? Raw. And you didn't like that. I feel cozy. I feel cozy. I have my uh, my coffee. I'm feeling pretty good. I'm ready to check out this next chapter and show off my awesome new... Here, let's get to a screen that can better see it. We're going to have crisper visuals today, and I'm very excited about that. I don't know, you know, it'll it's not going to be like emulator crisp, but you should be able to read the text. Okay, okay, see? See here, here we're going to swap over. Oh, look at that. Oh. Oh, wow. Oh. I just swapped out the composite cables for a an S video. It wasn't really a, it was like a $5 fix, but it made a huge difference. Should have done it earlier, but hey, now I know. I also picked up a uh, an S video cable for the 64, so hopefully when we play some 64, it'll also look very good. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm learning. MJ is... I don't think I'm going to let her out. I think I'm going to make her stay in here because she's going to go out for two seconds and then meow at me to come back in. All right. All right, all right. So what's going on? I've got a $20 off-stream donation from Bronwyn. Thank you so much, Bronwyn. Why don't we just, why don't we listen to it, huh? I'm gonna make all the money now. He's gonna make all the money now. Oh, how pleasant. How pleasant. Hey, yeah, Ian. Here's an off stream donation to suggest the indie horror game Who's Leela? I feel like you might like it. Uh, old adventure game meets one bit horror, meets the expression mechanic from Gothos. Only a few bucks on Steam. Super unique. Thank you so much, Bronwyn. I actually do remember this one. I think I might have seen a trailer for it before it came out I don't really remember but that's the one that's a it's a one bit it kind of looks like a world of horror almost but you have a, a face that you can like manipulate to make expressions kind of like uh is it uh FaceTime or whatever from uh Mario Party and that's how you communicate is you gotta like smile or, or look angry or whatever it looks like a lot of fun you have to check that one out Soft Crisps, thank you for the 53 months. The Chicken Man Cometh, thank you so much for the 21 months. Be sure to cool your danger thoroughly to avoid E. coli. Never eat it raw. Cooling the danger. Interesting, interesting option. Malice, 3,457. Thank you for subscribing. Matos Machine, thanks for the 29 months. Yesterday, 1, 2. Thank you for the 30 months. The danger may be raw, but the gamer be cooking. I know what you meant, chicken, man. I, I'm just being a dick. Dreaming Detective, thank you for the five months. Sess G587, thank you for the two months. Uh, Cheebs and Stones, thank you for seven months. Dojo the Great, thank you for the 65 months. That's Sotris, thank you for the six months. And Snooze Cruise, thank you for the 93 months. Hey, Ian, first time ever tuning in. Didn't know you streamed. I'm glad you made it, Snooze, finally. Mm-hmm. So, uh, oh God, MJ's like all up in my shit now. Okay, so coming soon is a Johnny Tsunami, Luke and Ian video review. I've been fighting the YouTube copyright robots for a couple of days. Uh, I'm just going to keep editing, uh, editing out the parts that it doesn't like or like trimming it down or whatever. 
And then if I can't get it to a place where they'll let me post it, you know, if I if I can't trim anything else down, I'm just going to have to dispute the claim and hope they release it before I post. So I have no idea when it's going up, but I am trying to make my Patreon a little more uh, appealing this coming year. It's been on my list. So it is it is viewable right now on Patreon uh, for those that support me there. But it will hit YouTube as fast as I can. Like, I'm going to get it up as fast as I can. It's just the robots, man. The copyright robots. Oh, you used four seconds of a movie. You're trying to steal it. Pretty Princess Apes, thank you for these 16 months. Biofrost 90, thank you for the 71 months. Can't wait for some raw danger. That's big money. Excellent. Oh, man. Wouldn't have happened with Brink. It probably would have. It probably would have exactly happened exactly like this with Brink. We, Luke and I are going to talk about Brink at some point. We have to. Kinetic Radio, thanks for the $15. To allay your copyright woes and sorry for making you suffer when reading my username. That's all good. Oh, my God. MJ's digging under the door. I have to let her out. Thank you so much, Kinetic Radio. Taking bets for when she demands to come back in here. Place your bets. That's that's what I should use channel points for. Just when does MJ show up? Okay, Raw Danger. Brief story recap. I, I've been doing story recaps in every episode. So, I mean, at this point, it's like, <laughs> I don't want to do the, the whole thing. But we are living in the safest city in the world that is currently going through a massive natural disaster or what we think is a natural disaster at this point. Flooding everywhere, destruction everywhere, snow everywhere, everything's wet, unsurvivable. Except for us, we're surviving just fine. We have taken control of, I think, four different characters. We keep playing the same two days over and over from different perspectives. And uh, the storylines have kind of like interacted there's been like consequences to what we're doing um the important stuff is that uh hmm what's important in the story <laughs> we're getting closer to this thread that maybe the mayor is involved somehow there's some corporation uh that's doing sketchy research and we keep coming across people that work there and yeah that's that's about all I know. I was a taxi driver last game. I didn't really learn anything. I don't think I learned anything as a taxi driver. I did run over somebody, though, and I'm hoping that that pays forward <laughs> in a positive way. I either run, ran over someone uh, that, I, that I like and that I was uh, in the future will be helping, or in the future I was being chased by somebody. I don't know. I'm hoping that that was future me in someone is in pursuit and I saved myself, but we'll just see Tracy Bluth rip. Thank you for the 25 months. This is probably the worst recap I've done of the story. Um, but you'll get it. If you don't know what's going on, you'll, it'd still be a good time. Uh, Merkwood lodge. Thank you for the prime sub jelly bean Kruger. Thank you for the eight months. Hell yeah. Let's get raw dangerous. Did we save the one girl during the waitress story? Yes. Yes, we did end up saving her, reuniting her with her dad. Oh, and that's wow. that's all that I remember really uh, happening. <laughs> I don't really remember. Uh, we didn't save the contact lens. Never found that contact lens. Garglev, thank you for these six months. I also hope we get to play the jewelry thief or at least interact with her some more. This is our next. Here, let me. I gotta swap over to my. Corn dog. Can I recap again. I can't. I can't. Harkwit. Thanks for the $3. What's the best way to describe this game to someone who has never watched or played it? Wrong answers only. Thanks, Ian Shade. Uh, if I were to describe this. Uh, incorrectly, I would say it's uh, 
It's like a life simulator game. <laughs> it's, a, it's a life sim. This is a life sim. This stream is pre-recorded. I pre-recorded it. I batch record my streams years in advance. So who knows? Uh, this one's currently being recorded in uh, two, 2020 or something. I want to see the visual difference on this too, by the way. This is old. Old how I was streaming. Ooh. Ooh. Spike1167, thanks for the two months. All right, let's see what Paige Meyer is all about. Do I want to change the name? Yes. What should her name be? Uh, any suggestions? Book? <laughs> Mage Pyre? Sally Schoolgirl probably won't fit, but Sally School would. Oh, I kind of like Jeff Bridges. <laughs> it's a pretty good. It's a pretty good name. We're gonna go with Jeff Bridges. I uh, just Jeff Bridge. We're going to leave the other bridges in the dust. My name's Jeff Bridge. A big fan of crossing over rivers or something. So what do we think? It's going to be at the school? We have mentioned a school a few times. It's Delray High School. Is this just where she sleeps? Oh. So, the disaster has already started in this scenario. <laughs> What's dead? Here, I... I was so brunette back then. Hey, where are you going? <laughs> hey, Jeff. Don't worry. You're safe in there. <laughs> Emergency evacuation. All students report immediately to the gym. No, not Jim. My name is Jeff. Let's go. We can't goof around too long. You better hurry and evacuate. <laughs> oh my god. Dude, I want to meet the mean girls. I'm always bullied about Emily and her friends. Dude, I want to meet the cool crowd, Emily and her friends. Oh my god, what if I ran over Emily as the taxi driver? Uh. Yeah, revenge path. I'll teach Emily a lesson one day. Yeah. Oh, I hope I push her off a cliff or something. Ooh, everything's all, like, collapsed. Hey! Oh, she's actually got a good... Hey! That's one of the more believable ones. Uh... uh. It's locked. Got some shit water. 
coming through. It's locked. It's locked. Oh, fuck. Oh, wait, 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 wait. What's my talent? What's my talent? My talent is memories. <laughs> I was told to evacuate, but I was locked in a locker by Emily. I don't have that talent. I laugh, but I don't have that talent. So this will be a fun new experience for me. I laugh because it hurts. Uh, oh, this is safe. You got it. You got it. Can I not, can I not like go sideways on, I just got to go up. It's just very windy. Okay. It's a triangle compass. Oh, now I know exactly where to go. Hello? Is anyone there? Is the audio flipped? Let me know if you think the audio is flipped. I came that was in my right ear. I read some reviews about this new cable I bought, and they said the audio might be <laughs> the audio might be flipped. Okay. You're right. Are you okay? Just flip the screen. Everyone is in the gym. You need to evacuate. <laughs> Shout okay, nod, make a gesture as if to say okay, ignore the warning and try to leave. Uh, I'm going to make a gesture as if to say okay. Is that... Yeah. The building may collapse at any moment. Be careful. I'm sorry. Could you could you sign spell that out with with letters for me? Ah! Yeah. Right. to dry off. Here, I... What? What do you want to say? What did I do to deserve this? You don't get it, do you? No. Everything you do and say, you're so annoying. <laughs> Why? What? Do you have a problem with that? Wait, a teacher's coming. I can't really tell which one's talking. What's wrong? Is there something you want to tell me? It's got like an evil henchman voice. It's nothing. We're fine. What's wrong? Is there something you want to tell me? Oh shit. I hear a Okay, audio's definitely flipped. Hold on one second. I'm going to flip the audio. There we go. Much better.
wish I could search the lockers. <laughs> the video's on an angle. I did. I just, I, I turned the cables upside down. Classic Shenmue. Do I want to unlock the door? My toilet paper meter is full. Well, that's a good meter to be full during an, uh, a disaster, I think. What up, Sparrow? Oh, I bet I got bullied here. What do you guys think? I bet I got bullied here. Hey, guys. There's an ugly bitch going on. <laughs> oh, my God. I got to meet Emily. I want to meet her so bad. understand what the pic she's getting they're dumping water on her or something Don't come to our school anymore. oh my god I wonder if anyone is in the restaurant. yeah let's check I'm going to pursue the revenge plot against Emily uh, that will be Jeff's story here and it could end up being one of my favorite chapters <laughs> because I, 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 the mean girl trope, I fucking love the mean girl trope. It was so funny. Mm -hmm. Hmm? No one's inside. Mm -hmm. This is a restroom. No one is inside. Mm -hmm. This is a restroom. No one is inside. It's just like Waverly. This is a restroom. No one is inside. Mm -hmm. This is a restroom. No one is inside. This is a restroom. No one is inside. I'm sure I'm glad I checked it out, though. Wait, they let me go in here? I couldn't go in the girls' restroom as a boy. Some <laughs> interesting-looking urinals. Uh, must be some fancy Japanese... Uh, Future toilets. It's different if you're Jeff Bridge. I'm going to teach the world not to fuck with Jeff Bridge. Oh shit. Thumbs up. Uh, mm. Jeff, I checked your final exam score and it was awful. <laughs> Ever since you started school here, you've been nothing but trouble. Dude, even the teachers hate me. <laughs> From now on, I will be your tutor and we will begin now. Ooh. Do I have an item? I don't think I have any items. Uh, what if we... Uh... Scr I feel like running is... Use an item? I don't think I have... I'm gonna run. Jeff, you have to study. No. No, I don't. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Holy shit. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Holy shit. It's a horror game all of a sudden. Oh, my God. No, no, no. Oh, shit. It's me. Wait a minute. It didn't happen. It should have happened. 
Well, it's good to know that I ran over a, a pervy teacher in the last story. He's dead. Yeah, it just didn't show correctly is all. Well, now my plan is to survive. Heating pad. Knit gloves, sure. Stylish. If I get stylish, maybe uh, Emily and the cool kids will like me. Oh, fuck yes. Why does the hot dog look like a huge shit? But uh, I do like that it's a hot dog. Uh-huh. I unlock a memory with getting the compass? Go buy me lunch. Why? Now? Oh, okay. You don't want to do it? Not really. How dare you refuse Emily? <laughs> I'll go. Why? You really don't want to, do you? Yes, I, I do. Well, are you going or not? I'm going. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, shit. I really shouldn't think of all these bad memories. I didn't get to pick whatever I wanted to pick. They should time out my uh, selection choices. Because I, I hit X to go through dialogue, and then all of a sudden a choice pops up. Oh my god. I'll still, I'll go, I will, I'll still revenge. I'll be careful. I'll be careful. I don't want to mess up my revenge. I got to get Emily run over by a car. Doors are locked. You'd better hurry or won't make it. Emily Rose. P.S. Key to this door is in staff room. That's really got a Nancy Drew look to it. I'll lock up the place for security. You have to hurry, otherwise you may be left behind. Emily. She does have a really long pinky. <laughs> so odd observation. Yes. If you need the key to this door, look inside the staff room. Hmm. It does. Ugh, the key's in the staff room. Yep. Hmm? Fire hose. Kind of like an odd thing to pick up, right? Mop. I want to. I want to make sure I get a bunch of items in case I have to fight off some more uh, pervs. Maybe the fire hose would. Uh, I could tie him up or something. I don't know. Doesn't really seem like a very good <laughs> weapon. Locked. Locked. Hey! Help! Hey! Help! Hey! Help! Help! Hey! Help! Hey! Help! Hey! Help! Hey! Hey! You're not blonde. I need some help. My legs are stuck. I need you to move the piano so I can get my legs out. <laughs> <laughs> you deserve it. I have always hated you. Oh my god, this is the best chapter. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
Oh, uh, I don't think it's Emily, but uh, I don't care. <laughs> Portable stove. Tweezers compass. Do we get a memory for this one too? No. Hot dog compass was better. Vegetable oil. Let's combine this real quick. What up? The, the danger is pretty raw this time. I, I am kind of the danger in, uh, in this story so far. Oh, I thought I got the propane tank. Propane tank. Oh, oh. It's already assembled. It's already assembled. I'm gonna make all the money now. Ayla Rosebuds, thank you so much for the $20. Might be the last stream I make it to before Christmas if you keep starting while I'm out of the house. So Merry Christmas, Ian, and little mooseys everywhere. Thank you so much, Rosie. Sorry for starting while you're out, but also, I'm not sorry. So there, I'm a mean girl. I don't give a shit. Jeff, please help me. Please help and find something to move the piano. I mean, I could still help her. So mean to you. I mean to everyone this stream. So watch out. You guys are all ugly bitches. And I hope you get trapped under a piano. <laughs> During an earthquake flood. Okay? <laughs> uh, can I use anything to save her? I'll save her if I can. Use... Mop. Oh, fire hose could work. Ayla Rosebuds, thanks for gifting 10 subs! Dude, thank you so much. Oh, wow. Right after I wished you trapped under a piano. That's very nice. That's very nice. <laughs> very nice of you. I truly don't deserve the chat. Uh, <laughs> I tune in and immediately get called an ugly bitch. <laughs> Unable to use item. Okay. I don't actually I don't actually know how to help in this situation. Do I need like a Do I need a like to Oh wait, there we go. There we go. Light the piano on fire. Her ability is memories. Which I'm sure will come in handy. Thank you for your help. I can't believe this. I can't believe this is happening again. Again? <laughs> Don't sneeze on me. No! Okay. <laughs> well, I need to go to the gym, but the hallway door is locked now. The key should be in the staff room. Let's go there and look for it. Fine, fine, fine. Fine, fine. Mm -hmm. 
See, we're friends now. I was just I was just goofing around I when I said she deserved it. And I looked up and saw you. What were you doing there? Getting bullied. Oh wow. Uh I was sleeping. Well, Emily and her friends locked me inside the locker. I can't believe they did that. How awful. Don't worry. I'll make sure to discuss this with my parents. Oh, is this a teacher? What should I ask? Ask about the evacuation evacuation point. Do you enjoy? Oh, she's a student teacher. Ask if she has a boyfriend. That's that's pretty out of left field. So, do you have a boyfriend? Everyone always asks me that question. Brag about it. So, <laughs> let's grill her. Yeah, let's grill her on the boyfriend. So you had a boyfriend before. It's hard for me to talk about it. I saved your life. Tell me tell me everything. Come on. My school was located on Capitol Island. Never heard of it. Do you know what happened there? Mm, no, I don't know. Well, I figured you wouldn't. It was almost five years ago. The island sunk in front of me. The entire city was submerged underwater. Everything in my home, the park I used to play at, all gone. That whole ordeal made me a stronger person. I mean, not strong enough to get a piano off of you, but I sure. I'm in the middle of another disaster. Bad luck. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Yep. I think the city is cursed because of you. <laughs> Thing to say. Yeah. Yeah, I'm feeling much better now. Let's get good. Good. She feels better now. What are you talking about? <laughs> it's Kelly. Okay. Let's evacuate to the gym. <laughs> I'm gonna save. Let's warm up and save. Oh, this is great. We're return return to the uh, rude options. I feel like Taxi Driver didn't really give us many mean options. But we're back. Skylax01, thanks for subscribing. Pocket Bear Illustrator, thank you for the 51 months. Can you believe it, guys? Christmas, just a week away. Christmas is in a week. Woohoo. I'm so happy about this information. Christmas, just a week away. Oh, wow. Can you believe it? Christmas, just in a week. It got here so fast. Christmas, just a week away. Hope you and chat are doing well lately, Ian. Thank you so much, Pocket Bear Illustrator. I'm very stoked about Christmas. I'm big on Christmas. Very excited. True Finger Typing, thank you for the prime sub. The Avgazan, thank you for the two months. Sephorius, thank you for the 22 months. And Serene Dusk, thank you very much for the two months. Uh, oh, wow. Just for those that might be new to this, this stream and this game here, this is a Christmas game. Bully simulator. Dude, you you actually, I have bullied in this game way more than in the actual game Bully. Okay, I came from downstairs. Should I check upstairs real quick? It's a beam compass. They should put one in that's just like compass. Or is that where we started? Did we start with a compass? Compass! Holy shit! Dude, this guy should be dead. Mr. Savage? His name is fucking Mr. Savage? 
I will rescue you and then you will have to study. Can I like... Oh shit. I didn't want to go back. I was... I was hoping I could like grab his leg and like pull him down or something. I will say, I really wish it had shown me hitting him with the car. I feel like I did that in my playthrough. Uh, so it should have happened here. Yeah, he's evil. He wants to give us private study lessons. I probably could have guided him into the car. I guess I just thought it would happen because it already happened, you know? Dude, the expressions are just so lifelike. He's the detective trap of this story. I have a feeling he's going to be back. Okay, December 25. Health conditions are critical for evacuees from the newly affected flood area. Be advised. Yes, he's the one I hit with the car last stream. It, it just didn't happen because uh, we had that scene where we ran across, but he didn't get hit by the car. There was nothing you could do for Mr. Savage. It wasn't your fault. I don't give a shit. I hope he's dead. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Always go the other direction in search of compasses. Rubber compass. It's like a rubber band with fangs on it. What the fuck? Oh, it's actually a rubber compass that's like melted, I guess. Dude, what up, Sean? Oh, wow. Oh. How do I get out there? I see something out there. Hmm. Good footstep noises. Ooh, we we can inspect the compass selection so far. That's a good idea. Kelly. I'm right here. I'm sorry that I'm late. Kelly! <coughs> He's fine. <coughs> I don't know. I, I suddenly feel very sick. Oh, the rest of them have been rescued. The next helicopter should be here soon. He's been drinking the shit water. Calling it. Then we'll wait. <coughs> Could you please go outside and check? Check what? Key to the gym. What are we checking? I'm gonna go check the outside. Uh, not really sure. Heating pad. Don't give a shit about no first aid kits. Oh, check for the helicopter. Wouldn't you be able to hear it? Should I save again? I should. I know I save a lot, but it's better safe than sorry. Better save than sorry, as the saying goes. DPR 1984. Thank you very much for the six months. Hello, Ian, MJ, and chat. 
This bachelor graduated with his bachelor's degree in nursing. Thank you for being my study buddies. Hey, congratulations, DPR 1984. Great work. I know what ducks want. Thank you for the 16 months watching while under IRL flood watch. Hey, I hope you pick up some great safety tips, survival tips, just in case. Uh, really, though, I hope everything's cool over there. Uh, and there's no, like, actual flood. <laughs> Povey55, thank you for the 36 months. I hope the danger is nice and raw in here. You know it is. And Julie Pools, thank you for these seven months. As someone with a uh, bachelor in nursing, would you recommend drinking the brown water? Or, uh, or maybe not. I want to climb up this shit. If I could climb up the basketball goal, I could get out that window and see. I think there's a compass out there. Chocolate water. It does kind of look like the Wonka water. I got my bachelor's in marketing and I say drink it. Oh. oh. Wait, wait, wait. What's in here? Hmm? Hmm? Normally, I hear the sound of bouncing balls from the gym around this time. Hmm? The mat is very heavy when it's wet. <sighs> this, this vaulting... Oh, do I have a memory of this vaulting box? <laughs> is she going to call me a bitch again? Is that possible? Maybe that's possible. Stop! Time for my revenge. <laughs> I'm so excited to get revenge. I definitely did hit Pro Professor Per. A hundred percent. Oh, is it Jewel Thief? Sure. What are you doing here? I'm waiting for the spaceship. <laughs> I, I want to know more about Jewelry Thief. You and I are very much alike. Here, take this. I got a crimson ruby. What the fuck? Okay. Oh, is the crimson ruby from the jewelry store that uh, she was robbing? Uh, I'll just hold on to it. <laughs> Throw the ruby, just immediately drop it in the trash. Uh. Can I swim? Should I? I feel like if I walk into the water, it's just gonna be like game over. Yeah. Some type of radioactive material out here. Uh. Okay, well, I went outside and checked. Oh, yeah, do you guys want to see the... 
My different compasses. NorCal compass I haven't used. Standard compass. Relief center compass. Geo, mascot compass. Pedometer compass. I still think that one would have been fun to use. Maybe I will use that one. Might be helpful in our uh, current storyline. Backpack compass. Christmas tree compass. Monorail. I love the fisherman. Also love the jet ski. Anyone with the little people on it? Still don't think this is ice cream. Hold on, I'm getting hold on, I'm getting messages I must respond to. Mm, delicious. Mmm. Fig compass. I love the fruitcake compass. Music box. Diver. Pig. Baby. <laughs> A festive turkey leg. There's the banana compass. Oh, cucumber compass. I might have to go back to cucumber compass real quick. Tweezers, triangle, hot dog, rubber. These must be in order of uh, how you obtain them. Well, maybe not. Snow well, yeah, we started with snowboarder. They must be in order. Snowboarder order. Going back to cucumber for now. I like this. It's weirdly hanging on like a string. The banana compass isn't hanging on a string. Skylax01. Thank you for the five dollars. Hey, Ian. So excited to catch, uh, to finally catch a stream. My wife and I always enjoy watching your vids and look forward to future moose content. Thank you so much, Skylax and wife. I really appreciate it. Oh, fuck. Oh, that's actually good. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Are you all right? Yes. I like to imagine us just like carrying a cucumber on a string around and just telling people that it is our my compass. Oh no! Is that a doctor or something? A dowsing cucumber. It's much worse than I thought. It's all over now. We are getting some mad upskirt of a school child currently. Excuse me, who are you? There we go. That's a better, situation is bad. <laughs> better camera angle. Watch out! You're gonna crash! Ah! Super Junior Trash, thanks for the five dollars and change. Shakes Maracas so hard it causes an earthquake and a flood. Whoopsie! <laughs> Thank you so much, Super Junior Trash. I wish I had crashed into the pervy teacher. Like I remember doing. You have to get out of this area as soon as possible. How about the flooding? What's happening to the city? Uh, let's go together. The helicopter will be arriving on the rooftop of Building 1. I can't go. I don't deserve it. What'd this guy do? I have to stay. But you all must get out of here. <coughs> Kelly! Okay. Let's go. Kelly! Yeah, right. Oh, shit. Hey, Is that Emily? Me. At that time. Hey, 
I think it's Emily. I'll forgive you if you do it. Do what? But I didn't do anything. It doesn't matter what you did. Because I'll forgive you for being you. Oh, thank you. How can you say that? What do you want to do now? You want to pull my hair? <laughs> Ooh, do I get an option to pull her hair? Come on, I'm not feeling well. I can't walk. Take me with you. Help Emily and go up together. Are you sure you want my help? I'll help if you apologize to me. Laugh and yell at her. Stare at her. Leave her. Oh. I feel like I have to laugh and yell. I feel like staring is also a great option, but I think I'm going to laugh and yell. Emily? Oh, hell yeah. I get choices. You deserve this. Let go of me. You don't deserve to live. Do you know how bad you've hurt me? I get to decide your fate. I like that one. What happened to your groupies? I hope you die here. Say all of the above. <laughs> you deserve this. What happened to your groupies? Do you have any idea how much you've hurt me? Let go of me or I'll just leave you here. I get to decide your fate. This is where you'll die. You don't deserve to live. <laughs> Why didn't the adults help the, <laughs> the sick children? I'm so sorry. <coughs> I was wrong. Dude, I don't want to catch what you have, though. Uh, okay, so I still have to commit to, I can still help at this point. I could help and then betray later, or should I just, uh, do it again? <laughs> Emily? This is where you'll die. No, don't leave me here. Emily? This is where you'll die. No! Don't leave me here! <laughs> uh... Betray later betrayal? But I might not get the option. I've been talking about my revenge. My revenge is now. But maybe I'll need her. I might need her. This is tough. I'll stare. Oh, there you go. That's a good shot. I'm so sorry! <coughs> I was wrong. Oh, make her apologize. She did apologize. I'll help you if you apologize for all the mean things you've done to me. I'm really sorry. Please take me with you. Oh, wow. Yeah, that was heartfelt. I'm going to leave her. Oh, no, no. Okay. Okay. Here's here's the thing. Here's the thing. We have learned that there are decisions that shrink the game, and I have no idea if this is one of them. The fact that there's like they're confirming, I feel like I should help because I don't want to leave. Okay. <laughs> okay. Please don't leave me. Bye-bye. I gotta save. I gotta... We're, I'm saving... Locking this decision in. I'm not making a separate save. No, we can't... You can't back off. You, you said leave. Enthusiastically. So that's what we're doing. I'm Anoda. Thank you so much for the two months. Dotted Melon, thank you for the Prime sub. And Sprout Stuff, thank you so much for the 87 months. Thanks, guys. Next time we play, we'll have, you know, we'll be able to do different options. Nope, no just in cases. Oh, what the, oh. What's that? Is that the ruby I have? 
the little circle or is that like a is that because I left Emily? It's either because I left Emily or because I got a ruby. I think it's a ruby. All right. Is she going to follow me anyway? Yeah, she's going to follow me anyway. The ruby of hatred. I hear her sloshing around down there. Hard hat compass. Pick up the broken glass and stab her. I think if I just keep going, I think eventually we'll lose her. Why are you still here? Wait, please don't leave me here. can't get rid of her. Ooh, maybe we can give her to the perv. You're the pervert! <laughs> You're the pervert. <laughs> pervert? So that's what I am. Oh, I keep getting these white flashes. What's that about? Oh, was that not the pervert? I don't think so. I don't think so. Yeah, pervert had a had a weird walk. That honestly calling him a pervert seemed like maybe more consequential than uh leaving Emily or not. What's with the white flashing? I keep getting these white squares. Oh, is it lightning? Okay. I thought maybe it was a uh, a product of my cable and I was going to be upset, but if it's if that's supposed to be lightning, then I'm fine. This is going to collapse. This is collapsing for sure. GPU is overheating too much danger. Okay, yeah, that's lightning. Hmm? Oh, cat compass in a wild orange box. Uh Hmm. Controller's vibrating like crazy when I walk across this. I feel like for sure it's gonna We're not a murderer this time, but we are uh Someone who was bullied and we're like slowly becoming a mean girl. I don't think so. Is it because I called him a pervert? Listen, I was, I was being pursued by a pervert that looks just like you. Okay. Oh shit. Oh shit. Get to the job. We just watched uh, Jingle All the Way last night. Pretty good. Kick her down the stairs. Oh, oh, here's our choice.
been here before. At that time. worry, guys, is smart enough to get it. She knows she has no friends here. Oh, my God. I'm sure she'll make the right choice. Oh, my God. Stop coming to our school. Yeah, don't come next semester. She better not show her face around here again. <laughs> oh, this is a great memory to show right be before this decision. <laughs> this is a great memory. Help me. Yeah, right. <laughs> How does it feel? <laughs> Help me! Help! Emily? <laughs> you deserve it. <laughs> Please, help me! <laughs> Lick the knife. I'm sorry. No! Wait! Bye! <laughs> <laughs> Later, Emily. <laughs> All right, that's one problem down. <laughs> Is that gonna be my whole story? I'm so glad you're okay. Have you seen Emily? Uh nope. Haven't seen her. Okay. Okay. Let's get to the helicopter and get out of here. <laughs> oh my god. Oh well I need a I need a sequel game that's just about uh, what happens to this girl after this event because I feel like we've spawned some type of monster is the helicopter going to blow up because karma Ooh, great song. Memory of Jeff Bridge. I I guess I'll never know why. I was constantly bullied by Emily Rose. Ooh, I wonder if we could have unlocked that information. The stupidest things. She would pour dirty toilet water all over me. Oh, that's what was going on. Threatening me into buying her things. Me. Dirty toilet water is something else. But after the flood hit our school, our relationship changed. <laughs> when Emily asked me for help in the gym, I started calling her names and I left her and went to the rooftop. When Emily almost fell from the stairs, she asked for my help again. Uh-huh. I left her and hurried on my way. <laughs> this song is so good. I help her. I made it to the rooftop by myself. We're going to have to be nice to her next time. I have a feeling this chapter was much longer if we hadn't gone revenge route, but, I mean, what am I going to do? You know, not revenge? Jewelry's already obtained. Could we have gotten a jewelry in in every thing? Have I been supposed to be collecting these jewels and I haven't been? Oh yeah, this game's getting replayed. This I mean this could be a Christmas tradition over here. This, this game is fucking awesome. Hastily wasted. Thank you for the 17 months. Uh in 10 C8. Thank you for these 17 months. 
And Rogers A51, thank you for the 16 months. Take it easy, M. We'll be seeing you. Yeah, we'll see you in the next playthrough. We need... There's definitely something with the uh, guy in the lab coat that could have been expanded on. And it sounds like we probably could have found some type of, like, you know, Emily has reasons to be... A, well, I don't know about reasons to pour dirty toilet water on me, but we might we might have been able to uh, find a, a redemption arc for Emily had we looked. But uh, we did not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad I've cultivated a a chat that will uh, inspire me to make the mean decisions. Thank you for uh, fueling the fire. Oh shit, now I'm going to be this guy. A man who has amnesia? So we got two more storylines left. We've got amnesia man... This is not the pervert. This is just the guy that is easily mistaken uh, as a pervert. Hopefully, hopefully we have a lot of people running up and going, you're the pervert. He doesn't know if he's the pervert. I like that. I like that. Okay, I'm going to take a quick bathroom break, and then we're going to play this one, okay? I'm very excited. That last chapter was great. A little short, but I again, I think that was probably our fault. But we are going to do another one. So get up, stretch, get a snack. I'll be right back. All right. A man who has amnesia? Oh, thank you, Sparrow. I washed my hands in the poop water to really, uh, you know, I, I, I really want to feel like a survivalist. Rocky Start, thank you for the two months. CJ Coma, thank you so much for gifting that sub. 
and Whamber. Thank you for the 69 months. As a person who always feels bad choosing the mean option in games, I find the stream very cathartic. Thank you for doing what needs to be done. Thank you so much, Whamber. I like the mean choices in game. I feel like I'm not a mean person in real life. And uh, it's fun to choose the mean option in games just to see what's going to happen. Can't be mean in games? Can't be mean in games. Well, that's okay. That's what I'm here for. Dig up, dig up some more games for me to be mean in, and we can all experience the mean pathways together. All right. We are now starting the next chapter... A man who has amnesia? Am I going to be working at the, the, the sketchy place? I know I could be mean in Sims 2. I don't think I knew that, no. Ugh. Cool music. The music in this game has been pretty good, actually. Hey, you're awake. Sure am. Wonderful. A man dressed in a blue suit helped you. Blue suit. Blue suit. Which guy was that? Do we know a man in the... Aiden? Aiden Chase? Okay, I remember Aiden Chase. I wish he would have told me his name before he left. Uh, who am I? Huh? Stop joking around. Wait here, I'll come back with some food. Great answer. Very helpful. I think she just died. She's unconscious. Her body is very warm. I should guess, go tell someone. Guess I'll go tell someone? Sniffer. <laughs> yeah, let's leave her in her warm body by this nice warm heater. Okay, so this, we saw this girl also in the school. Huh? Emergency pack. I want to know what the fucking ruby was. Huh? Did they make a, uh, like, a Prima guide for this game? If so, I'll invest in it, because I want to know, like, the combinations of stuff that you can make. Game fact. That's not as fun, but... As Man D, you also told the lady where to find this current character. Oh! Is this the guy that I saved? From the... Whatever, that one room? And then was like, oh! Ow! Oh. Okay, cool. So I did save this guy in another... Play, or another story. And then I let that lady know where he was at. Aquarium, that's what it was. Oh, hey, dude. I don't think I have anything. Oh. Well, I sure do. Yeah, let's get some Santa pants. Yeah, let's get out of our uh, lab coat. We don't, we don't want anyone to think that we're a pervert. So we should get out of this uh, get up. Oh, yeah, talent. I'll check the talent. Okay, I've got... Knit sweater. And, and percentage is good, so I'll leave it on for now. I can't wear Santa pants? No guide? That's unfortunate. Excuse me. Oh, I love that. So polite. Excuse me. Huh? 
See, now we can be nice. After our bad girl streak. Ugh. Excuse me. Oh, right, talent. I said I would do his talent, then I immediately forgot. Talent is remember memory. <laughs> I would like to remember my name, please. My name is... The fuck? No, that's not my name. My job... My job is a... I wear a white gown. Yeah, that's my job. Personality... Can I remember things incorrectly and change the trajectory of his future? I want to do a quick graphics. I want to see I want to see the gameplay difference because I didn't really check this out too much. This is how it looked before. Ooh, it looks so blurry to me now. Sweet. Sweet. Oh, dude, it's the seek time. It's not looking as good as it did. It looks like it got looted. Huh? Oh. Thanks, guys. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm happy that it looks better. I'll get uh, S video cables for as many things as I can. <laughs> Energy drink. I just want the text to be legible, honestly. When the text is all blurry. Ooh, 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 is that a geo treat? Huh? Hell yeah, my favorite. Huh? What's that? Think this will make Nancy Drew games better? It won't, but I I just did I I did upgrade the the visual fidelity of the huh? Windows 98 capture pretty recently. Icy patch. Oh oh, I can use that on the uh the hot girl. Yeah, this is PS2. Windows 98 is looking pretty good right now. Sure. What am I going to do with that? Yes. Yes. The Windows 98, I was using S-Video and then like reconverting it or whatever. But now I, I have bypassed that and it goes straight to HDMI. It looks a lot better. All this retro capture stuff, it's all, you just got to get like the right dongle. Like it's all about finding the, <laughs> the right thing that look doesn't look like shit. Clothes pole. Well, that seems important. Dongle is a funny word. I will use heating pad. Huh? Clothes pole. Mm hmm. Wow, they took everything in the store. Is that the store owner? That's sad. There are more important things going on right now, but that is pretty sad. Hell yes. Huh? Broom? I'm picking up some weird shit. <laughs> That'll fit right in the fanny pack, by the way. That broom, it'll uh, fit right in there. Uh, what's that? What's that? Compass? Therapy ball compass that says wolf on it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's really rainy out there. Um, I'll still look around. I'll look around.
clearly a Pokeball. What'd you miss? Where'd you leave? Did you leave during the Mean Girl story? We have Amnesia. We're currently playing as the guy we saved in the aquarium a couple stories ago. I think it was during the taxi story, maybe? Huh? Frying pan. Huh? Oh, sick! Shades? Oh. No, but I'll still wear them. Yeah, I'm looking cool now. No one's gonna call me a pervert now. Burr, it's really cold. I wish I had more cardboard boxes to protect me from the cold wind. Well, guess what I got, dude? Here you go. Wow, you have some cardboard. I need something to tie them together. Did I pick up the tape? There you go. Huh? Adhesive tape? It's not enough. Well, geez, dude. Did I give it to him or does he need more? No, he needs more adhesive tape. Uh. I didn't give him the cardboard box either. Hold on. Can I assemble something? Oh, shit. Makeshift coat? Cardboard wall? Dude. Soft top. A part used on top of the vehicle's window section. What the fuck? I can make oars? I'm going to be in a boat at some point? Okay, I got to go pick up the other tape I saw. Seems like it might be a, a craft-heavy story. Give. Cardboard wall. Yes, that it. Let's assemble them. Oh, that actually looks sick. Still cold, but I feel much better. Thank you so much. Take this. Sure. I wanted the chef's hat. I didn't get it in that one storyline. There we go. Finally reunited. There. <laughs> there we go. No one's calling me a pervert today. I'm a chef doctor with glasses. Hey, do you know who I am? I'm sorry, you're not allowed in here. If you need something, let's talk outside. Oh yeah, great. Let's, yeah, make me stand in the rain. Uh, how come I can't go in there? How come I'm not allowed in there? How come I'm not allowed in there? It's just the flu. It's very contagious this year. If you need anything, shout and we'll be right there. Excuse me! Excuse me! What's up? I found someone unconscious at the laundromat. Let's go! She looks exhausted. What do you think, Doc? Oh, am I a doctor? Here, examine the patient. Am I qualified to do this? We're shorthanded right now. I appreciate your help, Doctor. Who am I? She's all yours. Who is she? Huh. Am I really a doctor? <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Job doctor. Let's let's remember memories. <laughs> Michelle, look at the hat. I don't know what check. Like, I don't. 
I'm a doctor, and I wear a white gown. I was called doctor. I wear a white gown. Confirm memory. I remembered my job. I think I was a doctor. My job. I think I was a doctor. Okay, I can remember more things as we go. Huh? I really can't tell. Use stethoscope. She still has a fever. Can you tell that from a stethoscope? I need to cool her down. Use icy patch. Move her away from the fire. She's stable but still needs care. Uh, use garbage bag. Uh, what does she need? Her body is shivering. I need a blanket or something. Use garbage bag. Oh. A symbol. Makeshift coat. Oh, no. I gotta go get the tape. Hold on. Let me, uh, my TP's down. Let me warm up and save. So is my whole thing just going to be recovering memories and keeping her alive? If only a hug was my talent. A hug would really uh, help right now, I think. Black Dressed Bess. Thank you very much for the 13 months. Merry Christmas, Ian. Have to say that I'm absolutely loving this playthrough. Unique PS2 games are always a treat. Looking forward to whatever you get up to in 2024. Thank you so much, Bess. I appreciate it. I hope to get up to more uh, PS2 and N64 this year, actually. Obviously more Windows 98 as well, but I'm currently feeling the, the retro consoles at the moment. Dr. Hug. <laughs> And I'm not a pervert, okay? I'm just Dr. Hug. Oh, TP is supposed to be short for temperature. That's actually helpful. I didn't really know. I didn't really know. What is BP? Body pressure? Because we got TP and we got BP. Blood pressure? <laughs> Pimperature. <laughs> Pimperature. All right, temperature and temperature. I'm going to ignore all the other answers that seem logical, and I'm going to stick with temperature. Okay, where was that? Huh? Huh? Your mups? No, 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 no. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, wait, no, okay. Well, I'm going back to my glasses. Going back to my glasses. I love that the eye equipment <laughs> is earmuffs. No, I like that you don't lose uh, clothes when you, you swap them out. They're always there. Unless they... Uh, get broken in our in the first story we lost a couple things cuz they got broken i don't know that that's happened since okay i'm not going to use the adhesive tape until i'm sure uh that i'm supposed to cuz i think it's the only one i have left i'm going to go up on those that overhang real quick Oh, I wonder if there's something in the truck. Hmm? No. Come on. Not even a compass? Dude, that's 
playing this actually does occasionally make me cold. Like, I feel cold watching him run around like this. Huh? Huh? Oh, fuck yes! It's Rudolph's compass! Oh my god. Oh, his little butt. <laughs> Okay, I have a feeling I want to get in here. I have a feeling... Oh wait, there's more back here. Uh, when I'm being kept out of somewhere, I just kind of feel like that's maybe where I'm supposed to go. Everywhere is flooded. I don't think we can walk there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to go around, though. I want to... I guess I can't. Feels like it should have been a Dreamcast game. I can see it. I was like, I can see through this wall. It's the cardboard wall. Okay, I might catch the flu, but I do want to try and talk to this patient that's sitting up over there. Hey, guy. Huh? I see red spots around the neck. What could this be? Oh, no. Huh? The patient is sweating, but feels cold. What could this be? Vampires? Christmas vampires. <laughs> the eyes are hollow. The patient appears unconscious. I'm sorry. You're not allowed in here. A <laughs> geobite. The patient is feeling cold. Okay, take this. A blanket. Ooh, use stethoscope? That's not a bad idea. I'll do that after I uh, deliver this blanket and warm up a little bit. Eh, maybe I'll warm up a little bit first. Huh? She looks pale. She needs a blanket. So she's hot, she's cold, she needs more blankets, she needs less blankets. Oh, that that fixed her. She, <laughs> she's better now. Please, come with me. David was... Who? I don't know you or David. I don't even know who I am. I don't know why I'm here. Um, I don't remember anything. Uh, I don't know you or David. Honestly, I don't know you or David. I think it has something to do with your head. Oh, you David Murder? Had. You may have amnesia. My name's Ivan. Is that my name? He doesn't even say his name when it's scripted into the game. Oh, no. How could you forget your own name? I've got a massive head injury. Your name is... Ivan Koz Kozlov. Ivan Kozlov. I'm trying to see if that's a pun. Is that a pun? You and David are good friends, and he was my boyfriend. Uh, there's something I want to tell you. Mm-hmm. I heard David was killed by his sister. Oh, shit! It is David murder. Ivan Bimperger. <laughs> I can't believe that. David always talked about his sister. They were very close. Well, she wanted the money. That's what I heard. I want to find out what really happened to David. But I'm scared and can't do it alone. Name Ivan. Remember, fragments of memory will be obtained through conversations. Connect them using your special talent, Remember. Find and restore your memory. Please come with me to check out David's apartment. I do want to, I actually do want to go there. Um, I've got nothing better to do. 
Uh, yeah. I have nothing else better to do. Okay, I'll go with you. Really? Thank you. David lives in an apartment complex called Landmark Apartments. It's not far from here. Sick. I like that the story is looping back to David murder. I feel like we kind of got away from it a little bit. Uh, but we're, we're back in it. After a save, of course. Need to catch up on the VODs. This is going to be, I think this is going to be one of those VOD series that I recommend to uh, newer viewers. This one's been fun. We did Dust this year too, right? I feel like between Dust, Bingo, and this, it's been a pretty solid uh, year for, for good streams. I, I would definitely play Dust again. Oh yeah, Sonic 06 was there. I don't know that I would... <laughs> I don't know that I would uh, put it on the same level. But I, that is something that I did play. Okay, let's... I guess I'll just follow her. Does she have a car? This area is badly flooded. Let's head north. Let's follow Rudolph. I don't remember when I played 7th Guess. The road is flooded. We need a boat. I need a boat. I've got oars. Oh, no, no, no. The road is flooded. Yeah, 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 yeah. Where do I get the boat? Float in the frying pan. Go make some tea. Bring me some tea. Some nice warm tea sounds good. It, it, this game does make me kind of chilly. If you see me fucking with something behind me, that's my little, my tiny little space heater. I keep turning it on and off. It's possible I may have been infected. Uh... Uh, oh, I don't fucking know. Uh, I don't know. Gee, I'm really worried. So can I inspect anybody with the stethoscope? No. It's possible I may have been infected. Uh, yeah, sure, you are. What did you say? I don't believe you. It's not true. Okay, wait a minute. It's still cold, but I feel much better. Thank you so much. You know, I haven't heard any helicopters. Oh. I'm devoted. That's something. Uh, well, how am I going to get to the apartment? I think this guy's got a boat for me. Excuse me! Oh, good. She's recovered. Bye. And she feels so good. We're running around in the rain as one does when they've freshly recovered. Okay. Hmm. Boat. Oh, could I go this way before? Oh yeah, there's the laundromat. Oh shit, it's the Hudson Tunnel. Anything around here? Any compasses? I'd like a boat, but I would also take a compass. Hmm. 
Big fat nothing. Are these the apartments? She said to head north. Can I craft a boat? I don't know what I would craft a boat out of. Uh, follow Rudolph. Can I go in here? No. I'm getting cold. I'm getting cold out here. I'm getting really cold. We need a boat or something that floats. Yeah. Oh, I remember there's a shelter nearby. Maybe we can find something from there. Is the shelter where all the infected people are? Hold on, I gotta warm up real quick. Do I have food? I'll eat. I'll eat with woman. <laughs> Split a geo treat, woman. I'm warm now. Okay, the only shelter I can think of is... This one over here. Perhaps there's stuff I can find? Is this a boat? Huh? We can use the air mattress as a boat. Job air <laughs> mattress. Uh, I would like to edit my job, please. <laughs> I would like to... What's actually, an air mattress? Now that I think about it, I think I was an air mattress. Um, for those who need medical attention... I need this to help treat the injured. I understand. You're quite a doctor. I'm impressed. Let me help you carry this. Thanks. <laughs> Here we go. Why couldn't woman help me with this? Re <laughs> What? That's it? I guess I can't really say anything. I'm not there. Huh? Just be careful. Bloody may spread beyond this area. Well, take care. Bye. Okay, okay. Evacuation update. The Union District is largely underwater, making driving. Impossible. Rescue helicopters. That's David's apartment. Number 402. Let's go. Okay, I'm actually kind of relieved I don't have to control the boat. Here. This should be it, right? Hey, what are you doing here? Hey. The worst case scenario came true. Your research caused this mess. Huh? Huh? My research? Dr. Spritz, what are you talking about? <laughs> Dr. Spritz! Oh, I remember you. You're David's girlfriend. I'm sorry about David, but he did deserve it. <laughs> Thanks, Mr. Spritz. What was David involved in? You should ask. This mess is and David fault. <laughs> Listen, I can't remember anything, okay? I think I'm an air mattress. Actually, I'm glad to see you here. It's not too late. The container drifted off and ended up at the high school campus. Oh, hell yeah. I'll go and check things out. Stay here and find a way to destroy Echidna. Knuckles? Let's meet up later at Delray High School. It was all Knuckles' fault. A 
Echidna and involvement. Memory fragment obtained. Job echidna. Maybe, maybe I'm an echidna. Huh. Uh, What's echidna? I don't know. Oh, good observation, Walnut. It could be that radioactive thing we spotted right outside the school. That would make sense. He asked you to find a way to destroy it. Huh. What's in the container? I don't know. He said it was missing and ended up at the high school. Huh. Yeah, I was there for what he said. Who was that? That was Dr. Spritz. As far as I know, he was a mentor for you and David. He left NorCal Pharmaceuticals shortly after David joined the company. Hmm. Huh. I mean, huh. Where's Delray High School? I think it's in Union District. Huh. Okay. Let's go in. Okay. Hold on, I want to update my job. Real quick. Let's use our talent to remember memory. Echidna and myself. <laughs> Let's see here. Airbed. Doing some kind of research. <laughs> There we go. I remember my job. I think I was a researcher of air mattresses. <laughs> this is going to, like, we're going to have to have this right for a certain po point of the game. Uh, and it's it will probably not be right whenever we, we get there. Okay, I'm devoted... Not sure what I'm devoted to. Probably air mattresses. Ooh. This is a very unique mechanic here. Okay. New backpack? I don't think we've been to the apartment. Oh, this is when this is after we hit the tree into it as the taxi driver. <laughs> Let's say I don't think I remember the apartment being destroyed, but it's because we hadn't done that yet. Go, got some nice looking shoes. Oh. I already got a frying pan. Do a save. We need some type of like prequel where we are David Murder. Well, while while I'm saving, how's it going out there? Just a reminder: if you if you are a Patreon supporter, my new video is there a little bit early as I try and navigate the YouTube copyright ID issue. It'll be up on YouTube a ASAP. I just don't know how long that the the sap is, you know. Uh, all my videos are not on Patreon. I'm just now starting to get into the Patreon. It was just kind of like a tip jar for a while. But this next year, I want to use it more. Um. Oh, I'm looking much better out of that lab coat. But this just, I wasn't really planning on putting it on Patreon early. It's just since I can't upload it yet because it's getting blocked in all countries until I <laughs> figure, <laughs> figure out the copyright. Uh, it just kind of, like, worked out that way. The computer is locked. We need a password to log in. Oh, I think I know the password. 
What? Why would you know that? The password was entered and the computer is accessible now. <laughs> the password is pervert. Regarding schedule from Ivan Kozlov. Oh, I have to read that in the menu, I think. Would I rather patrons or Twitch subs? It doesn't matter to me. It doesn't matter to me. Echidna will be transported on Friday the 24th. I have made prior arrangements and won't be there. I'm disappointed, but I know everything is in good hands. Once the project has been completed, would you care to join us on a beautiful resort island? Sure. Loading. Loading the message. Loading the message. Oh, no, it was a blank screen. Delete data from Ivan Kozlov. All information regarding Echidna must be destroyed. I doubt that the average person could comprehend anything. However, it's best to play it safe. If there's anything that needs to be checked, then you can meet me at my place. I have a backup copy. From Ivan Kozlov. Thank you for your assistance today. We would have lost all the data relating to Echidna. I can't imagine starting over. If things go well, we should be able to step up production and have enough Echidna manufactured to execute our plan by the end of this year. Op Apollon will be pleased. What is this? Are we good or are we bad? Do we unleash this, unleash this disease? Memory information obtained. Apollon. Did you remember something? I kind of. It seems David and I were researching Echidna together. Does it have anything to do with David's death? Oh. Well, I don't know, but there's information about Echidna in my apartment. The problem is, I don't remember where I live. Don't worry, I know where. Let me take you there. I don't trust her. Here we go. We need to head northeast. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. This is some Mario Party bullshit. Uh. Okay. Ooh, we. We. Oh, no! We. Guess I'm not going that way. We. Is this where I want to go? You wish to get off? Air mattress can be deflated to carry. It's convenient. Air mattress. To, oh my god, that's going to be a pain in the ass to reinflate. A whole air mattress we got to reinflate? Oh, I like the snowman compass. Got a pump for it? I don't, uh, not in my inventory, I don't. Oh, Samurai Compass is good, too, but I just got Snowman Compass. Stylin'. Why does the snowman have a tail? It's like a... It's like a bunny <laughs> snowman? I don't know. Uh... There's something over here. I don't know if it's a good idea to go for it, but I'm going to try. I climb up here? Is 
it's men's jersey. It could be a snowman turd. It's true. It's a hat. Oh. I'm not going to wear it yet. Oh. I'm sticking with a chef's hat. I've already done pirate hat. And I really wanted the chef's hat in that one playthrough. Ooh. Giving it to Emily is a good idea, though. I just can't. Oh, wait, no, she's here now. Hold on. Give. Her name is Sierra Young, not Emily. Emily was from the last. Uh. The last story. Someone is at the door. Say hello. MJ does meow a lot. Especially when we are separated by a door. Could give her a... Uh, give her a Santa pants? No. She, she can't wear any of this shit. There we go. I've always wanted something like this. Well, dream come true. I'll see if I can give her the pirate hat. Give. There we go. I've always wanted something like this. Sure you have. Okay, looking good. Oh, come on. Oof. That was close. All right. Back on the raft we go. Oh, she looks very appropriate now. Uh, this looks like not the right way. Said northeast. Is it? Could I have gone further? Did I not go far enough? Definitely doesn't look like I'm supposed to go further down. Oh, is this... Is this them? No, no, I can't get off here. No, I'm fucking stuck. Is 
Yeah, dude, the current is way too strong. I think this might be where I'm supposed to be. Let me double check. Let me just make sure. Because, I mean, they, there was a fire over here, which kind of says to me that I'm headed in the right direction. Oh, wait. Am I supposed to go there? There's a giant hole in the wall over there. Oh, 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 I see, I see, I see, I see. Warm up real quick. Just gotta be careful, I don't wanna fall. I don't wanna be running and accidentally jump into the, the water. Hope I get to the part where Emily gets knocked off and she lands on the mattress. That would actually be hilarious. All right, through this convenient hole. Not really sure how this worked out, but. Oh, maybe we'll see her. It'd be funny if we saw Emily f <laughs> just fall through. Holy shit. Go, go, go! Oh my god. Did I make it? We don't really seem all that bothered, honestly. This way. Let's go. Flood watch, flood spreading. Large portions of city flooded. MJ's just sitting on a desk, staring at the door. Hey. Being a little weirdo. Getting close to your apartment. Are you sure? Do you remember anything? Mm, sure. The building looks familiar. Maybe you'll remember even more once we're inside your apartment. Let's go. I thought maybe saying that would like unlock a memory. Stylish way to run across. Uh oh. <laughs> uh. She's probably fine. She's probably fine. <laughs> it's true, I could write my autobiography already. Knuckles fan, love air mattresses, name's Ivan. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Dude! We've been here before. Oh, I shouldn't step up on... T <laughs> oh! Jeez! Or, jeez! What should I do? Jeez, oh, what should I do? Hard to breathe. I can't move. Good try. I'm 
going to go look for help. Please hurry. Okay, I think I asked for help at the intersection up here. Because I remember we bailed on Stephanie to go help this guy. That's the restaurant, I think, up there. Oh my god, we're even wearing the right clothes. My friend is stuck under some debris. She's in danger. Please help me get her out. Okay, I'll help you. Good. Come with me. Hurry. You stay here, Stephanie. We've been through so much since then. Curry Rice Compass. That sounds good. And all this uh, chilly weather. Love some curry rice. Now <laughs> it's a food stream. There's a lot of food compasses. Not that I'm complaining. You hold that side, okay? Oh, thank you. You saved my life. Thank you so much. You saved her life. Did we save her life? Your girlfriend needs to be careful. <laughs> girlfriend? It's nothing like that. Oh my god, it all adds up. Hey, by the way, your friend looked really tired. Why don't you give her something hot to eat and let her rest? Be careful. I'm okay now. Let's go to your apartment. Let's do it. Oh my god, hold on. In, out, in, out. What food did we give her? We took her to the restaurant after this, and I don't think we actually gave her food because they were like, let's cook the food, and we didn't want to eat any of the food in the restaurant or whatever. I'm feeling chilly. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go to the restaurant to warm up. That was cool. It's pretty cool. So if I hadn't helped her out, I wonder if we would see her at the school in the last story, or would she be gone? Am I trying to say things in the house flipper voice? I don't know what the house flipper voice this is. is your apartment. Let's go. It might just be my voice. Oh shit, yeah, this is where... Wait, so am I gonna end up... Huh? No, I already ended up unconscious in the... aquarium. That's how it started. That's how this started. Do I wanna enter? Sure. Haunted house flipper that was like patched the walls. I do remember that. I'm not trying to say anything in a in a specific. It's just my voice. <laughs> it's just how I sound. Uh, is there a fire I could warm up by or? Huh? Candle compass. Can I please heat up by the stove or something? Fancy apartment. Okay, 
I really need to warm up. It's bullshit there's no, like, warm up in here. Oh, no. Do I not have a... My temperature is really suffering. Huh? There's a diary. Do I want to read the diary? April 20, a man named David Murder has joined the project team today. It seems he was asked to create an experimental virus in order to develop a new drug. Apollon has a good sense of judgment, as David seems to be a valuable addition to the team. July 23, David Murder has no sense of humor, but he's extremely skilled at logical thinking and experienced at communicating his ideas in an organized manner. He is the polar opposite of me, and that's enough for me to trust him. Memory, memory fragment obtained. Echidna David. I thought it would be like personality. I have a sense of humor. August 14. The Echidna Project is going smoothly. If everything continues to go well, then we should be able to execute the plan by the end of this year. We got off early today, and David invited me to his place for dinner. He introduced me to his girlfriend, but I don't remember what. She looked like. I don't even remember what we had for dinner. I can't stop thinking about Echidna. August 15. We had an emergency situation. All the stored Echidna samples were found dead. We are currently investigating the cause of their death. August 17. We discovered that electricity killed the Echidna samples. According to our investigation, Echidna is vulnerable to electric shock. In its current form, the virus may be ooh, the virus may be destroyed even with the slightest inconsistent electric current. The virus will not be useful like this. So we are making a virus? Kozlov's log. <laughs> I have taken Kozlov's log. I sure wish. Should I, like, eat something? Okay. Feeling a little bit better. Did you find anything? Yeah, I did. Huh? It's a computer. Do you want to use it? Regarding Christmas Eve from Apollon, tomorrow will mark the day when your hard work will be known to the world. Once the transportation of the container is... Oh, wait. Once the transportation of the container to the Cascade Dam is completed, it would best... Are they trying to introduce a virus through the water or some shit? It would be best that you leave the country at once. Thank you for your commitment during all these years. I'll contact you once the plan has been fully. Ooh, Apollon's the mastermind? It's in the piss. Regarding Christmas Eve from Apollon. Celebration? Secretary. I, okay. The plan will be executed on the 24th. We will transport Echidna in a special container. A man named Chang Li will be in charge of the transportation. I want you to go with his team and ensure that the container gets there. I will be attending the banquet on that day. If you need anything, please contact my secretary. Is Apple on the mayor? Financial provider. Hmm. Yeah, I found shit. Like, how do I know if I found it? I really need to find a heater. Dartboard.
Hmm. Sure wish I had my geo treat. I gotta like get out of here. Uh if I'm here too long, I'm just gonna die of being wet. I mean, she's not looking too good either. We gotta, like, get out of here. It's bullshit that there's no furnace in this area. Oh my god, I'm gonna die... Because I gotta look around more? I'm getting slow. This is some bullshit. No, I don't have any heating pads. I don't think I have any food. What else do they want me to find? If I do have to redo this section, I'll go by the uh, restaurant first. No, the stovetop doesn't turn on. I already tried it. There's like nothing else here, dude. Yep. Huh? It's a computer. Boo. Did I find anything? Yeah, I did. Well, oh, now I'm dead. You know, it happens. It happens. For, you know... For a PS2 game, uh, we've we've had minimal jank. So to hit one area that's total and complete bullshit. Oh no, I have to start it. Any okay, well, I just gotta like rush. Uh, let's do. Oh, am I dry though? Okay, maybe I won't use it. I think they're letting me start off. Okay, I'm not dripping and sloshing around. Huh? Okay. Okay. I forgive the game. I forgive the game for that. I can uh, I can excuse it. Huh? I think it's a computer. Blah 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 blah. Do I need to remember? Should I use my memories? Yeah, being like super wet does slow you down a lot. I was called doctor, but am I a doctor? Airbed. And I wear a white gown. Doesn't let me confirm memory. It also doesn't let me like exit. Okay, it likes it, it likes that. Researcher of air mattresses. My personality. Still don't know enough about my personality yet. Looks like a complete set to me. Worked with David. The development. That's a complete thought. Apollon's instruction. Oop.
deadly virus. I remember my connection with Echidna. I was working for a man named Apollon. I was developing a deadly virus called Echidna with David Murder. Oh, shit. Well, I don't have enough memories for that. I was involved in something terrible. Who is Apollon? How did it end up at the high school? I remember Echidna. Who is Apollon? You must have remembered something. The container is filled with Echidna. We must hurry. <laughs> it's such a lovely container. I can't wait to get my hands on such a lovely container. <laughs> Maybe I developed the container that they put the virus in. <laughs> oh, that's going on the thumbnail right there. <laughs> so I wasn't wrong. In the last story, I was the pervert. The container is at Del Rey High School. Dr. Spritz is waiting for us. Right. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Oh my god, this game is fucking awesome. <laughs> Emergency alert. Shoreline levees are in danger. Massive amounts of water poised to submerge city levees if fail. That was I have I read that normally. <laughs> that was the order of those words. This is Delray High School. <laughs> City overrun by perverts. Where's Dr. Spritz? Uh. Look around for Dr. Spritz. Okay. Are we using the air mattress? Okay, I think we're using the air mattress. <laughs> the virus makes you a pervert. Here we go. Okay, which helicopter was this? Also, what's with the sound of the... Cannot get off here. I'm just trying to get off everywhere. See ya, Sparrow. Uh, can we go in here? Here we go. Ooh, I don't like this. A little claustrophobic. Also, I can't rotate the camera. Ooh. Is the water rising? Making me uncomfortable. Oh, shit. The air mattress is deflated. Well. I can go into the ladies' restroom because I'm a pervert. Oh, so you're saying that I need to lock it in the mind, the mind memories to truly become the pervert. I can do that. Devoted pervert. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I remembered my personality. I was a devoted pervert. <laughs> I was a devoted person and a pervert. <laughs> hey, know thyself, you know? Oh, a dirty pervert. I'm a devoted person and a dirty pervert. <laughs> uh. All right. Well, now it's official. Huh? 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 I'll check all these doors, but I'm assuming they're all huh? going to be locked. Huh? Huh? It does look like we're building his personality, yeah. And it seems like our choices will affect what memories we unlock, possibly. Oh, shit! You're the pervert. <laughs> pervert? So that's what I am. I wonder if I hadn't obtained pervert yet, if this would have unlocked that personality trait. Oh, let's go. Oh my god. The layers, dude. The layers. Huh? Huh? Oh, here we go. I keep thinking I got a tap. It's, I think it's because I started playing bully. I feel like I got a tap to run, but I don't. Do a little save. This has been a great two chapters. I still wonder how long the, the last chapter could have been if I had not gone the revenge route, but maybe it wouldn't have changed anything. I, I have no idea. Wonder if we'll ever get Bully 2. I honestly, I highly doubt it. I'd be pleasantly surprised, but this is Bully 2 for me. This is pretty much Bully 2. This is what happens right after Bully wraps up. Revenge route was the light side route. Well, it said ending A. I feel like every chapter so far we've gotten ending A. Didn't they close the studio that made Bully 1? Probably. I mean, it was made so long ago, I wouldn't... Was that Vancouver, the... Rockstar... I should know. I want to say Rockstar Vancouver, but I can't be positive. Uh... Well, I sure wish I had the boat. Hello? Huh? 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 I know one of these things we unlocked, but I don't know if we'll be able to get to that... ...that door. Huh? Huh? Oh, shit. I don't know what that was, but I'm out of here. <laughs> I didn't like that. I'm taking too much time? GTA 6 looks interesting. Honestly, it's too... I think I said this before, but it's like... It's too graphics for me. It's... I don't know that if I can get down with that graphic of a game. Like, fidelity, not... Uh... It's just too many polygons. Huh? Huh? 
Every game should come with like a low poly filter that I can put through it and then I can then I'll be able to handle it. PC is too old. Yeah, I have no I don't think I have a way to play it. I hear someone walking around that's not me. I also don't see anything up here. Excuse me. Excuse me. Run <laughs> it through as video. Where am I supposed to be going? Excuse me. And where did what's her face go? I don't have any type of, you yeah, know. Oh, is she stuck in here? Come on. Maybe that was the problem? Where the fuck are we going? Some people failed to escape. I hope they evacuate safely. Let's go see Dr. Spritz right away. I don't know where the fuck <laughs> Dr. <laughs> Dr. Spritz is. I think she's just walking around downstairs. I think that's what that sound is. Uh, huh? What am I missing here? I feel like I'm missing something. Can't go up there. Can't go down there. Maybe I'm not supposed to be up here at all? Dr. Spritz in the school gym. Maybe? I don't know where that is, though. Oh, I can't go downstairs. Mm. Oh, do I go out through the window? fuck is Dr. Spritz? Okay, so this caved in, so I'm not supposed to go back. I'm definitely supposed to do something... Could he be in the boys' bathroom? He could be taking a shits. Huh? All of these are locked. We got called a pervert here, and then our character from there went up stairs. Is he in here? Huh? Huh? Not a good time to relax. I need to hurry. This is where I would go to relax. Because I'm a dirty pervert. Can I look at my map? That's a good idea. It's actually a very good idea. Survival point. Gym. Building one. Am I in the wrong building? But how do I get out of the building if I don't have the raft? Can I swim? <laughs> I don't know why that had to... I don't know why it had to immediately kill me, but... Grim Gaming 115 thank you so much for the 26 months. Love this series. And Nine Fox Gambit, thanks for the 18 months. Brutal, yes. Thank you, thank you. I hope the other games are... Uh, Oh, I could go through the window. 
I had the right idea. It just didn't look like I could go through the window. I hope that there's some other games in the series that are also good. I've been waiting for you. Hurry! Apollon may find us if we don't move quickly. Tell me, how can we destroy a kidna? How to destroy a kidna? Let's do something perverted to it. Well, it said that we needed electricity. Let's just plug it in. Do quick save. What Sonic game is this? This is, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Some Knuckles adventure. Did Knuckles ever get a solo game? I tried being mean to Echidna. I, if I get the opportunity, I definitely will. Honestly, if I get the opportunity, you know I'm probably just going to release Echidna to the world, if that's an option. Close. Disaster Day of Crisis is a good game, kind of like this, but it's Europe only and a Wii game. Interesting. I'll play. I'll find ways to play it as long as it's good. Okay, let's go look at the thing. Jewelry lady's not here. Oh shit, awesome boat. I'm gonna steal it. How do I steal it? It won't it won't let me steal it. Hmm. I don't have... Ooh, let's check remember memory. I might... be able to piece together the electricity. Electricity. Echidna. Under normal conditions. Die. <laughs> Fucking classic memory fragment. Cause storage. I remembered how to destroy Echidna. Echidna is vulnerable to electricity, although it does not die under normal... Great. Uh, normal conditions, strong electric currents would destroy it. So we gotta tie like a. We gotta we gotta tie a key to the kite. Fly it up there into the lightning storm. And make sure that the the string connects to a kid though. Easy peasy. Dude, I'm huge, by the way. How can we destroy a kidna? Kidna can be neutralized by applying a high voltage of electricity. Electricity? What? Help me. We need to hurry up and take the container to... <coughs> it hurts. <laughs> Come on, dude. Dr. Spritz. I'm Not Dr. Spritz. <laughs> can't fulfill my responsibility. You're our only hope now. The container is outside the gym. Already found it. Take it to the substation in Central District. Please do the right thing. Save the people. I mean, do I have an option? Don't you <laughs> Uh, 
Ah. Uh, yep. Excellent. My research is a great success. Yeah, evil pervert. Come on, I want to change the evil pervert. Dr. Spritz, why is this happening? Is this the result of David's research? Oh, please let me be evil pervert. Please, please. What happened to the good path? I found a, a better one. <laughs> I found a better one. And it's being... A, oh, no. I can be devoted evil or devoted pervert. I got to stick with devoted pervert. Rip off. Okay, quick save before we go. Try and either dispose or uh, not dispose of Echidna. So, do you think that the personalities we make affects the choices that we're given? Like... If we if we set ourselves as evil, will we not even have the option to do something good? Because this is a pretty interesting uh, mechanic here. I'm usually not a huge fan of the amnesia route, but being able to piece together your memories uh, incorrectly is really fucking fun. What do I wish to do? Okay. Bye-bye, Mr. Shits. I'm coming with you. Okay. I kind of assumed that you would be. What? I need to fulfill David's wish. What was his wish? What are you talking about? I found this letter in his room when we were there. My dear Sierra, I'm sorry. I have to say goodbye. I, I don't deserve to be with you. I was involved in a terrible research, and it caused death to innocent people. I've decided to take responsibility and prevent the loss of any more lives. My decision may be a threat to your life if, if you continue to be involved with me. Please, Sierra, forget about me. Find someone who deserves you. Like me. It's time for me to take responsibility for my actions. I pray for forgiveness. And I wish I was never involved with this project. Goodbye, Sierra. Please marry my co-worker. David wanted no one to die from this virus. That's why I want to go with you. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, come on, you could be useful. Let's go together. Yeah. Thank you. Look! The container! It's drifting away! What a beautiful container. Oh, here we go. That doesn't seem smart. Flood warning, Central District. With parts of Business District. Submerged, buildings are at high. Risk of collapsing, evacuate. Day three. Do we make it to day three very often? I like how immediate the engine is. Well, I got it. Container has drifted here. Is there anything I can use to tie the container? I wish I had that hose. Uh, I have adhesive tape. 
Is that good enough? <laughs> no. Hmm. Are we sure I can't use adhesive tape? Okay. Oh yeah, I'll check crafting. Coat or cardboard wall soft top. I don't know what the deal is with the soft top. I don't know where that would have come in handy. I'll just look around. Really not the best boat that I've ever piloted. Dude, the fucking shit river. I'm up shit creek without a shit paddle. <laughs> Can I get off here? I cannot get off here. Merry Christmas, everybody. I just go in here. I feel like I'm getting very far away from the container. Tunnel leads to the coastal highway. I don't have to go there. Oh, well, I won't go there, I think is the... If only was I was a rope researcher. I only know how to contain things, okay? Nothing... The only place that looks like I can go would be the stairs, but it's not really letting me. I cannot get off here. That just makes me want to get off even more. Can I go in the train? <laughs> I can yell, excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. There we go. You just stay here. Uh, it'll be fine, I'm sure. We got, we got heating pad. Could have used that earlier. Huh? First aid kit. Don't give a shit. Huh? Chicken broth. I think I, I think I might just have a little bit of chicken broth. I'll, uh, I'm gonna look for other items and then I'll save. Rope. Oh, no, it's a jacket. It looked like a rope. What did I walk into? It, it, would, it would take a long time to explain, but <laughs> something magical? I can't carry anymore. If I were to sum it up, I would say that I'm a mattress researcher who has unleashed a deadly virus on the world, and I would describe myself as a dedicated, dirty pervert. I think would be the most accurate way to sum up the situation. Huh? Yeah, also Knuckles was there. <laughs> Huh? 
Oh, fuck yes. I like the seagull compass. First aid kit. Huh? What is that? Oh, a wool cap. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. I want the chef's hat. That can stay there. Ooh. That'll keep me warm. Huh? Huh? Can't carry the propane tank. Huh? Huh? Oh, vegetable stew. I want to carry the vegetable stew, though. I will discard the waiter uniform in favor of the stew. Don't need this. Let's just get rid of some shit. Yeah. Bail. Bail. The white gown? That's how I would describe a lab coat. Goodbye, Santa. Goodbye, Santa pants. Oh, wait. I can get rid of that bag, too. I don't need that bag. I got rid of Santa pants. It wasn't... This playthrough wasn't... Uh, it wasn't its time. Next time we play, I'll do... Uh, I'll try and do Santa percent. How's that? I got the vegetable stew. That's much more important to me because I'm a chef. A dirty pervert chef. Oh, wait, new backpack? I didn't have to get rid of anything. Huh? I could have just used my new backpack. I'm just going to take it. I like the seagull one better. They're both creatures of the air. I don't see shit. I didn't get anything up here that I needed. I mean, I got some some stuff, but I thought I was going to find a rope up here. Can I go over there, maybe? Oh, I got a... I collected the flag. Can I use that? I'm sure I'm glad I accidentally <laughs> tried to pick up the flag. Uh, I don't think I got a rope, no. Can I make a rope out of a flag? Okay, I think I'm just supposed to... It's a it's, uh, story item, so I think I'm just supposed to use the flag to get it. Okay, quick save before I go back out into the, the wild. What's my favorite flag? I have no idea. Uh, I don't have a favorite flag. I really want to know about these stupid gems. I can't believe I only have one gem. Yeah, my <laughs> freak flag. Yeah, there you go. That lines up with my uh, current character yeah i do not like the the washington state flag no we need to redesign it terrible flag okay let's go see if i can use this flag on the container most state flags are awful that's fair I just feel like Texas has had a really good one. So I went from somewhere that had a very good, recognizable one to 
a picture of a man. <laughs> some some guy's face. What's down here? Anything down here? Leads to the substation. I have to take the container there. Okay, good to know. Picture of a guy who never even went there. Okay, this get to our, this boat fucking sucks. It's so slow. How much fuel does it have? I don't know what the California flag is. That's fine. It's a bear? Okay, yeah, yeah, okay. That does call up a memory of the flag. That one's pretty good. Okay, good thing it's still here. I can use the city flag to tie to the container. Oh shit. I can't see shit. Yeah, great camera angle. Great. Going this way. I wonder if I could have taken it the other way. Like, is there an evil route if I take it the other pathway? I don't really know. Yo, what's that helicopter doing? The substation is after the tunnel. I guess that's the only way. Okay, but what was the helicopter doing? Boink. Helicopters carrying a car. Just in time. The virus is saved. Or wait. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> Severe flooding has caused a power outage throughout the city. Oh shit, are we just going to throw it onto the power grid? Oh, see, plug it in. What I say? Yeah, just plug it in. Is the power down? Huh? There's no power. Well, it's this shouldn't matter. Uh, well, I definitely see a pathway going down there. I guess I should check that. There might be a compass down there. Dude, this game is making me cold. I feel so cold right now. Warm up with the heating pad. Mm, nothing. What's the temperature of my room? I don't know. The room I'm in is like a, an added on room, so it doesn't have, it's not connected to like the vents of the house. So it's, it's also not like crazy insulated. So it gets pretty cold in here. That's why I have a, a floor heater. What's this? Fuck yes. I'm gonna look sick. Yeah. 
Excuse me. Excuse me. Huh? Frozen and won't open. It's true. I'm just trying to stick to the theme of the game with the heaters everywhere. Chef goggles. Got to protect yourself from the uh, onion fumes, you know? I am going to save again. Never a bad time to save. I feel like I've maybe saved a little too much this playthrough, but I just don't want to have to redo anything unnecessary. I wonder who we're going to play last. I've been trying to think about who who they're going to make us play last. I wonder if it's going to be Aiden Chase. Mayor McMustard would also be a great option. Oh, fuck yes. Hot chocolate? The world is saved. Jewelry Lady would also... I hope Jewelry Lady is essential to the story. It's a control panel for the substation. Power may be restored if I operate this control panel. Operate the control panel? I did just save, so... Yeah. The power to the substation is restored. I have to turn the switch on. I'm running out of time. Anything else in here? Huh? Records for the substation. Oh, fuck. Uh, well, I want to explore some more, but, well, I guess not. Is this going to be... Uh, what's his face? Is it Apollo? What? What is the guy? Oh, shit. Did you transport the container and you have it with you? What's your plan? Uh... Oh... I'm totally not going to destroy it. Oh... oh. I'm not going to destroy a kidnapper. And I'm not gonna kill him. Oh, fuck. You tried to sabotage Mr. Apollon's plan. Apollon, that's his name. Apollon? Don't you remember me? Mayor Mustard? I won't recognize him unless he's in all, all yellow, though. It's Mayor Mustard, dude. Avalon, you're... Zippy Quick! <laughs> David Murder! I mean... I kind of want to get it wrong. You're Zippy Quick! But this seems like an important moment. Uh, yeah, you're, you're zippy quick. Uh, this is tough. Right one? You, you're Mayor Goldstein. Good. Do remember. Okay. Actually, I was thinking that if I got the wrong one, he might be like, he's... He's amnesia. Kill him. I gave you all the research funds you requested. I removed Spritz from the project because he objected to your strategies. And this is the kind of appreciation I get. How dare you betray me? I thought you and I had the same goal. I was wrong. Now, give me the account.
Oh, I want total control of NorCal. They're just gonna fucking shoot me if I do any of this. Uh... God, the choices are sometimes so tough. I'm gonna go with... I am a devoted... What would a devoted pervert do in this? Oh, a devoted pervert would probably say, yes, sir, Mr. Apollon, right? Keep his lovely container. Ah! This one's tough. This one's one of the hardest decisions I've done so far. I'm gonna say... Lovely container. Okay. Okay. That's fair. It's too tough a choice for me to make on my own. Kidna is mine. Mine only. Well, you're out of your mind. That's mine. Oh, well. I need a Kidna back. I guess you die here. What are you going to do with the kidna? Spread it throughout this damn city. What else would I do with it? It's my revenge against the people of Del Rey and the government. Yeah, are you are the government. Do you have any idea where I was born and the hell Cascade village suffered? Is that the one that sunk in the ocean? So I decided to do the same thing. Stop whispering, dude. They decided to set fire to the village. Accident. I'll never forget the screams and the stench of burning flesh. I promised myself I would avenge those who died in the fire. I mean, revenge has been a common thread. It's time to say goodbye. Oh. Yeah, let's work together. Well, mmm. I want to know if he, like, jumps and, like, goes for the lever. But. Don't give it to him. Stay devoted. Okay, I'll stay devoted. I'll stay devoted. Oh, this is so tough. I'm just gonna get fucking shot. I understand how you feel, but I can't let you have a kidna. Jump! Jump, dude, jump! Don't talk, jump! Oh, disappointing. It's not easy to find something like Die. Come on, crawl, dude, crawl. Well, yeah, no shit, dude. Great timing on the memory fragment. Rest in peace, you devoted pervert. <laughs> oh, shit, I'm alive, I'm alive. Ah! There's still time to save my precious container. Oh, or I'll just die over here. I have to turn on the switch. Echidna must be destroyed. You got it, dude. You got this. Do I have any items? Why don't we use uh, an energy drink? Here we go. Here we go. A little difficult to uh, control. You can do it. I 
I need to take a chance and restore the power when he's not looking. Yeah. Shush. 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 Ah. Excuse, excuse me. <laughs> With my dying breath. Yeah, dude, we both go out with the bang, me and the container. Nobody gets it. You son of a bitch. Yeah. So am I going to play as a mayor next? Am I going to play as David Murder next? Ivan. Seemed like a lot of consequential choices there at the very end. Oh yeah, she did say his name. Journal of Sierra Young. Twist, it's not our journal. I was looking for... He was a friend of my boyfriend, David, who was recently murdered. <laughs> David Murder, who was recently murdered. Perhaps a ninja. I went to David's apartment, and then we went to his place. It seemed his memory was gradually coming back. He learned that he was a part of a research team. They developed the deadly virus at Kitten. He seemed interested in Avignon. Call me a call me a devoted pervert. Come on. This is how I'll be remembered. Witness the power of a kidna. And he said, This is great. I made this virus. And he was ecstatic. It was David's last wish. I decided to go and destroy a kidna. Told him, Let's go together. Strong electrical current to destroy a kidney. We took a kidney to the substation. We just restored power and then Apollon, who is Mayor Goldstein, interrupted us. When said, I won't let you take a kidney. Goldstein shot. Call me a pervert, come on. Was that it? <laughs> Type 5A. I did not survive. I do wish to save the data. This was a great couple of chapters. I started to cry at the end. <laughs> Oh, who's it going to be? Who's it going to be? I got to save the ending first. Super awesome when I left the girl to fall to death on those stairs earlier. Yeah, that was a great moment. It was a great moment. <laughs> It really would have been funny if while we were in the school as as uh, Ivan, we saw her like <laughs> fall somewhere. Yeah, like in the background, that would have been so funny. Honestly, my only the only downside so far has been that I didn't run over the original pervert in the uh, in this play when we were the what's her face, Jeff. 
It was the only bummer so far. I really thought I was going to take... Oh, shit! I'm Ian McFart again. Is this an epilogue? Well, we're going to have to find out on Wednesday. This has been a great, great entry into Raw Danger. And since we only have one chapter left, that means I should be able to finish this up on Wednesday. And then uh, on Friday, I'll do a fan mail opening. And, and if I have time, maybe some other Christmassy thing. Absolutely worth $40 for me. Yeah, definitely. Um... I'm so glad I got this game. I'm really excited to replay it at some point. Ooh, Uncle Nick? Okay, maybe I'll set up maybe I'll set up for some VHS uh, while I'm doing fan mail on Friday. Remind me on Wednesday, or I'll forget. I think I might have a couple other Christmas tapes that we could check out if there's time. Um but remind me on Wednesday. Also, one last time, just to plug the Patreon, you can watch my Johnny Tsunami, Luke, my and Luke Johnny Tsunami's review right now. Um, it'll be there exclusively until I can get around YouTube's copyright robots. Uh, that's what I'm going to go do now. I'm going to end this and then just go back to trying to edit around the copyright robots. Uh, but hopefully that will be up sooner rather than later. If it rolls around to Wednesday and Friday and it's still not up, I'm going to be pissed off. Uh, how much money is Patreon? I think Patreon is just a dollar. But it, it is not anything exclusive. It will uh, it will go live as fast as I can. Um, I'm going to go do that now. But thank you guys for watching and hanging out. Is this going to be where kill like Killjoy will stop doing decoms because of copyright? It depends. It depends. If I challenge the copyright and Disney releases it, it would uh, make me more encouraged to do more, honestly. But we'll just have to see what happens. I will be back on Wednesday to finish up Raw Danger. Thanks so much, everybody, for, for hanging out, watching with me, chatting with me. Thanks, VOD watchers. Hope you guys are enjoying this series as well. And I hope you guys all have a great day evening and uh tuesday as well and i'll see you guys on wednesday bye bye everybody and now folks it's time to say good night we sincerely appreciate your patronage and hope we've succeeded in bringing you an enjoyable evening of entertainment please drive home carefully and come back again soon good night